Starts now on Fox 12 Oregon. Now at five, a life laid down in the line of duty. It is easily the greatest honor that I've ever had to stand here today and talk to you about Deputy Justin DeRozier. And a community filled with sadness and gratitude. I just want that family to know our hearts are breaking too. A show of support that stretched for miles. And an auditorium packed with people and fond memories. I had the privilege and honor to have known Justin most of his life. With heavy hearts and messages of hope, thousands pay tribute to fallen deputy Justin DeRozier. A father, a husband, a hero. His life and legacy are right now on the 5 o'clock news. Good evening to you and welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Pete Ferriman. Tonight, the Northwest mourns a fallen Cowlitz County Deputy Justin DeRozier. He was gunned down in the line of duty on April 13th. And today, thousands of people gathered in Longview, in Portland, and in between, all to pay tribute. We have live team coverage on the memorial service as well as the procession. Let's start with Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez. He is live at the University of Portland where the service honoring Deputy DeRozier wrapped up just a couple of hours ago. Simon. Uh, Pete, the flag here at the Child Center, still at half staff this evening in honor of that fallen deputy inside the auditorium this afternoon, an emotional service that remembered his life. The Child Center filled to the rafters, remembering a young life cut much too short. There's a saying about heroes that goes, heroes are ordinary people that do extraordinary things. Justin was an extraordinary person who did extraordinary things. Cowles County Deputy Justin DeRozier was shot April 13th while responding to a report of a disabled motorhome. He later died in surgery. Former colleagues spoke of his passion for police work. He faced danger with undaunting courage and bravery, and he faced fear head on without hesitation. For the Constitution, for the laws of the United States. DeRozier began his career in law enforcement in 2011 at the Whitman County Sheriff's Department as a reserve deputy, eventually becoming full time. He had been with Cowlitz County for about three years. This wasn't a job for Justin. This was his calling. DeRozier grew up in Kelso and graduated from Kelso High School. He leaves behind a wife and his six-month-old daughter, Lillian. Justin, hugging your family the early hours of Sunday morning was the hardest thing I have ever done. A nearly two-hour service ended with bagpipes and amazing grace, a neatly folded American flag, and a last call from dispatch. County, one Lincoln, Lincoln 46. Well done, Justin. Well done. One Lincoln 46, out of service. April 14, 2019. Gone, but not forgotten. Our friends and colleagues all said DeRozier died doing the work he loved and also protecting his community. The man suspected of shooting him was later shot and killed himself in a shootout with Kelso Police. Reporting live in North Portland. Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12, Oregon.